Welcome back guys. So in this video we will continue looking at the configuration for uh, the field maps web maps through the field maps web app. So again if we go back to the maps I just want to make sure that you are on the same page here when you go open the field maps web app for the first time you will see the maps if you want to change the configuration for any map click on it or click on configuration and you will be able to change uh, the content or configure the pop-up or to change the offline settings so here when we click on the offline settings you can enable offline mode or disable the offline mode from here so I can enable the offline mode for this specific map by enabling it from here and this will allow me to download uh, the maps offline when I go on the field maps so if this one is not enabled I will not be able to download any areas or any maps uh, as an offline to use it in the offline mode but when it's this one is enabled now I can go to the app and download specific areas to use it offline and I will show you that in a coming video on how to download and save offline areas to use it in the areas where you don't have any internet connection and after you enable the offline if you tap on the content it will show you what kind of content exists on this web map which is the inspection map so in this map we have three layers we have the electric poles electric lines and electric areas and if you see this green check that means that this layers can be used as offline so you don't need to change anything if you see that it have X that means it's not available to be used offline maybe you don't uh, on this layer or maybe you just need to change the settings and if you want to change this one from X to uh, OK so you can use it in offline uh, maps you can go to the configuration here so you can open the item details for this specific layer and then you can go to the settings and to make sure that you have enable sync which required for offline is checked so if you don't have this one checked or this layer when you publish it it was not uh, sync enabled it will not be available for offline usage and you will see a x red x here so again if you saw a red x here make sure that the settings for this specific layer is enabling sync so you can use it in offline mode if you don't know what is that please go back again to uh, the configurations and the prepared the data video for the collector app so you know how we configured and enabled the synchronization for this layer before we publish it so that means here that it shows you that all your content is allowed to be used for offline so we are good with the layers the base map also is okay to be used for offline so I can download it offline so that is good uh, we can use any of this data offline so for the content we are good here for the map areas you can define and configure which areas the user can download online what that means is because we have the map or the world map completely open where the user can download any map from any area you can restrict which areas the user can download by click on manage areas and say I don't want the user to download any areas unless it exists in this specific place you can do this from here and you can do it from the also the web map settings on the content so you can do that here or you can go to the settings and go to the offline tab and define manage areas here and it will show you exactly the same thing as you see it in the field maps so you can define which areas the user can download from here or from uh, right here so right now we have this um, map the user can download anything because we are not restricting the user to download specific areas but all what you need to do is to to find which areas the user can download by just creating a polygon so now using this polygon the user cannot download anything here or anything anywhere else they can only download maps or base maps from this area inside this polygon they don't need to download all of it but they can download any area inside this polygon and that will restrict the user from doing mistakes and trying to download really large amount of data that they don't need so this is a really good feature you have to keep it in mind when you design your map to be used on field maps specifically if you are gonna use it on offline mode <coughs> So I'm not going to save this one right now, so I'm going to just cancel it. And here, this is how you can manage the areas for the offline usage. Here, features and attachments delivery. When you enable offline for any layer, when you download the map, 
it downloads all the features and the base maps and if there is any attachments it's downloaded on your phone as well so if you enable downloading attachments that maybe means that the user will have a really large amount of data to download on their phone maybe they don't need to download all these attachments so you need to configure these options right here if the user can download attachments when they download offline areas or not and if you want the user to have a read only for the features so you can define if you want the user to see the attachment or download the attachments for the features that they can edit or for the features that they have read only on it as well and that helps if you want to make sure that the user do not download any unnecessary data you can do this from here as well and remember this settings we are changing right now is just for the inspection map so make sure that you do this settings and you know what map you are working on and what options you want for this map and the last thing here we have use a tile package for the offline base map so when you use a offline map make sure that you have a tile base layer and here it gives you the option if you want to use the tile layer that was already existing on the online or you have an existing tile package that you want to include into your field maps app what that means is if the user is going to download a map area to use it in offline mode they need to have an internet connection to download this map first so they can use it in the areas that they don't have internet connection the other option is you can use a tile package layer that you can create it on ArcGIS Pro and you add it to your map so now when you open the map they already have the tile package layer and they don't need to download the base maps and this is a good feature specifically if you are using a base map that doesn't exist uh, anywhere or that's not provided by Esri or it's not provided by anyone you can use your own base map as a tile package base map so it can be used offline by choosing the option right here so this all the options for the offline we have some options to change in the settings and what I want you to know that uh, we have uh, settings for the field maps app specifically and what I want you to know that we have specific settings for the field maps app so if I go to the app again right here on my phone and we try to change any of the settings for the app so right here I'm gonna discard these changes I'm gonna go to my home page I'm gonna select my profile on the top here and when I go to when I go to collection settings the one on the top you will see that here I can change the accuracy I can change the GPS uh, average streaming photo update size and all these settings right here and all the settings if I change it from this profile on the app from here it will apply to all the maps but if you want to have this settings specifically for specific map you can change it from here so for example if I came to the collection settings and I said I want the accuracy average to be let's say for example centimeter instead of meters I can change that to be meters here and then when the user work on the inspection map they will be able to use the accuracy as 10 meters but if the user work on any other map it will be as 10, 10 centimeters so you need to understand the difference between the settings that you configure on the app and the settings that you configure on the map itself the settings will apply to the map when the user open the inspection map and the settings will apply to any map when the user work on any map on the field apps and the priority is for this settings right here so whatever settings here this settings that you configure for this specific map which is the inspection map in this case will override and it like be priority on top of this one so again keep in mind that this settings will be just for the map and this settings will be for the app itself so let's go back here and see the options here you can change the accuracy for the GPS to make sure that you have the right accuracy to not uh, like uh, record data or have a GPS point in like a really far place that you don't want it to be there you have the streaming which means that you can move and walk while you are recording for example a polygon or a line and it will record you while you are uh, moving so it, you can draw the line while you are moving you don't add need to add any uh, points on the app and here you have the uh, photo upload size you can change it to large or medium 
or small and extra large so you limit the size of the images or pictures the user add and here show related types so if you have any tables or any other features that is related to this feature that you are adding you will be able to see the related types for this feature snapping you can enable or disable snapping when you are working on the specific feature delete all, all points in line or point during collection and here you can discard all the points that you are drawing if you're drawing a polygon it will be just a polygon or um, if you are streaming it will keep adding points and the last one here is delete all points which means if you are streaming and you are moving it will keep adding point as long as you're moving to draw a line or throw up or to draw a polygon here you can disable that and just ignore all the points and draw the polygon and draw the line just with a few points less points and here you have the options to change the edit multiple so you can select multiple features and change or edit them in the same time you can enable or disable this option from here feature actions allow you to enable or disable collect here and collect here means that you can collect or add a new feature based on an existing feature or a dropped pen so if you have a dropped pen or you have a placeholder on your map you can create a feature using this placeholder or you have an if you have an existing feature you can create another feature using uh, this option right here to enable or disable it from here and here the copy you can enable or disable what options or what things you need to include when you copy a new feature so we have the option on the app that you can select a feature and make a copy of this feature so when you copy it do you want to copy just the shape or you wanted to copy the shape and the attribute or you just want to copy all of it so here you have the option to copy the attributes and draw a new shape or you have the option to copy a shape and add another attributes or copy all will just make a like complete copy from the feature you are selected location tracking if you have the tracking license enabled this is a option that uh, field maps including that doesn't exist in collector because field maps can use can be used for tracking instead of using arcgis tracker we can use field maps to track uh, the field users so we can enable uh, the location tracking specifically for this map which means is that when the user is collecting data it will track their location so if you want to know where is the user at when they are collecting data you can enable this one and for every feature they are collecting and when they are using this map on the field maps it will be recording their their location and it will show it on the tracker web app so you can track their location when they are using this specific map and this is a really good feature if you want to keep track or where if you want to keep track of where is your field users exist when they are collecting the data for this map so basically this is all the options you have for the settings again keep in mind this applies to one web map if you want to change it for any other web maps you need to go back to the maps and select which web map you want to uh, like make this configuration for the last option here is the sharing and here you can configure the sharing level same as to configure it from uh, the content or configure it from the sharing option on the home page right here as you show you you can change it to public or you can change the change it to private or share it with specific groups and here you can uh, copy this URL and send it to anyone or you can just uh, like let me show you how to do that you can copy this uh, image you can download this QR code and send it to anyone so all what they need to do if they have access to this map they don't need to open uh, RGS collector so they can just scan this QR code so let me show you how that works so when I open my camera on my phone and I want to scan this QR code and I open the link here it will automatically open uh, field maps and it will automatically open this web map which is the inspection web map without me like going into the app it will directly open the uh, map for me on the field maps just by scanning this QR code same thing if you have uh, same thing if you have same thing if you have this URL you can send it to anyone and once they tap on this URL or they open this URL on their phone it will automatically open the field maps app and it will open the inspection map for them by using this ones so this is just a easier way to allow your users to open the map and work on it uh, in the field by just tapping in this URL or scan this QR code 
and here you have the option to hide the map and this is the same option we created in the uh, and this is the same and here you have the option to hide this map on field maps so no one can use this map uh, on the field maps app so that's all the settings we have for the field maps web app it's really great and really nice tool to know so you know what options you have to configure your field maps app and configure your maps to be used in uh, the uh, field maps app so it's really great tool to use and really good options to use and allow you to have more flexibility on configuring default values uh, have specific ways to show and hide attributes uh, like have a way to configure the offline for specific areas and have a lot of power to configure the maps and the settings for each map separately uh, and that was not and that didn't exist before in collector and this is one of the great things that we have in field maps that also we can include tracking and we can track the users while they are collecting the data so that's all the settings we have for the field maps web app to configure your maps and if you have any questions please let me know and thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video thanks